What's good with everybody, man? Um, Mike and Veli back in the building. Second vlog, not in home vlog, but actually going out and about vlog. Um, I gotta run a quick errand to Walmart because I spoke to my lady yesterday and she told me that she didn't even have any more confetti, so I couldn't do the gender reveal. So, I had to take it upon myself to go to Walmart, you guys, and go buy some confetti, because I could have sworn we had some left, but she said she had to do it. The last little bit that we had, she threw it away. So, damn near 11 o'clock in the morning, so run into Walmart, getting the confetti, so I can do this video. I promised a lot of you guys, actually, for the longest. Some of you guys I've been telling for the longest I'm gonna do a gender reveal and never got around to it. And then people on Instagram were tell asking me like, what is it gonna be? Is it gonna be a boy or a girl? So I was like, ah, might as well just give them a gender reveal. Even though me and my lady, we already know what it's gonna be, what the gender is gonna be. We already know because when we did it, it was uh, me, her, and her family so um now it's just me and you guys me and you guys we gotta i gotta tell you guys what it is so you know uh i'm not gonna lie man this pregnancy for my lady it has not been easy you know but you know everybody's different man you know uh, some people have it easy some people have it bad some people have it worse than bad so that's just how life is, man. Everybody's different, bro. Everybody, you know, people could only take so much. And there are certain people that could take certain things that others can't. You know? Man, it looks like it's about to rain any minute. You guys, like, look, look, look what the weather is like. Like, it's not sunny and bright and shiny. Man, look like it's about to rain, you guys. But how have you guys been today, man? Because I've been doing great. A little bit stressed out lately, I'm not going to lie. Um, and I know I'm probably going to get some slack for this. I know I'm going to get some slack for it. Because it might come off as me sounding like I care about numbers or whatever, right? But once again, I just feel like... Um, you know, first I want to start, before I even get started with saying that, first I want to start by saying this. You know, anything in life where success is involved in it, it takes time. You know, I tell that to everybody. Even I know that, right? But then there's times where I feel like, yo, I'm doing all the right things. I'm being consistent as much as I can. I'm promoting my channel as much as I can and on all my social media platforms, right? And it's just like nobody's watching. And I remember when I first started YouTube, I was like, you guys, tell me some videos that you guys want to see me do. I, like a few people told me live streaming, like live streaming is a way to get um, a good amount of uh, subscribers and things like that. But I was like, ah... To be honest with you guys, even though I love video games, I don't even have the latest system. Like, I can't even tell you right now what the latest system even is. They probably got a PS5 right now, I think. And, but you guys, to be honest with you, I'm not really that technology type person when it comes to like the newest thing. Like, if it comes out and I need it because what I'm currently using isn't working no more, that's one thing. Then I'll probably break down and buy something else. But as far as me just buying something just because it's new and just because everybody else is buying it, it's, it's pointless. You know what I mean? And it's a waste of my time and money. So saying that to say, you guys, I still got the 360. The 360 for all my game players you guys know what i'm talking about like i'm that's like og like i still got that bro so and then there was a couple people telling me there's ways around that that i could still live stream even though i have a 
a console that's not really so um modern. But then when they told me what I had to do, I was just like, dude, that seems like it's way too much for me to be doing all that. I guarantee you if I had like a PS4, PS5 or whatever, or Xbox One S, whatever, right? It would be a lot easier. I wouldn't have to do as many I wouldn't have to do as much as I would for a console that's old. But um some people told me that. Some people told me vlogging. Some people told me do pranks. I'm just like, ah, I could. I could. But I'm not going to lie, you guys. For me to do pranks, I need to save up and buy like a um, like a real small camera. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could do it on my phone. But the thing about these phones is, it's like, if I try to prank anybody, even my lady, it's going to be like, dude she could see the phone the phone is so damn big you can't help but see it it's right there you know what i mean so but i do have like a a, a gorilla pod if you guys don't know what that is which i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys should know what that is um it's pretty much like a tripod but a little bit more flexible like you can hang it up in trees you could do all type of stuff with it because the, the the legs on it is like three legs just like a tripod and you can pretty much bend it any type of shape, form, or fashion that you guys want to, um, you know, you can pretty much just adjust it to your liking. You know, you, I've seen people <laughs> wrap it up in trees, wrap it up in their closets, do all type of stuff, bro. So really at the end of the day, it's not like I'm making no excuses for why I don't do pranks. But at the same time, it's just like, ah, I want this person to really bite into the prank. And how can they really bite into it if they can see the camera right there? Or if they can see the gorilla pod right there in the closet. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man. Like, the YouTube thing isn't easy. I came in the YouTube thing knowing that. But I don't know. And then maybe it's because I haven't really done my homework on other youtubers but it seems like everybody or not everybody some people come up fast in the youtube game and i'd be asking myself like how and why you know it just don't make sense to me like some people come up within months some people come up within years some people come up within two years three years but then you also have the youtubers that took them seven eight plus yes so I don't know, man. I'm just not happy with my regular 9 to 5 job. Like, I want to leave there so bad. The only thing that's keeping me from leaving there right now is the fact that, you know, I'm not getting monetized on YouTube. You know, so I don't make a penny off the videos that I've done and are currently doing. So, saying that to say i can't just straight up leave my job as bad as i want to you guys as bad as i want to like i want this nine up five life to be over with yeah man just always have my own vision of being my own boss so when i see other youtubers doing what they do i get inspired by it and it's just like, well, damn, they got merch, they got this, they got that going. And I always wanted that to be me. And of course, I know, you know, with good things, it takes time. But you guys, it's like, I can't get to where I want to go if nobody is supporting. I can't get to where I want to go if nobody's liking the video. I can't get to where I want to go if nobody's viewing the video. Or if you are viewing it, you may view it for a minute, 10 seconds, or whatever, and then click off. So, I don't get anywhere like that. Yeah, people could say, oh, well, you got subscribers, but at the end of the day, views count too in YouTube. So I don't know, man. It's just like, on one hand, it's like, I don't care about the views. I do this stuff because I like it. But then at the same time, in order for you to 
be a big influencer on YouTube and have the big fan base, it takes the views. It takes the likes. So, at the end of the day, it's not like I'm really making a big deal out of it. It's just the fact that YouTube is. <laughs> because that's really how it works. So, you know, man, I just wish there was a little bit more support. You know what I mean? And then it's not like I'm the stuck up type so it's just like I could you know network with anybody you know especially if you're an up and coming YouTuber like myself bigger uh, YouTube platforms they probably won't respond to your DM or whatever but I figure YouTubers like myself that are up and coming trying to do something big in life like these um, current big time YouTubers are, I figure, shoot, well, you know, like, why not network? That's why sometimes when people send me these comments or like, oh, Mike, I think you should do this, I think you should do that, I literally take it into consideration, you guys. I literally take it into consideration. The only thing is, Certain with with certain things, I don't have the technology for, you know. And then not only that, but it's like, to be honest, it's just like I like reacting to videos. You know, I like giving my honest opinion on certain videos. Vlogging, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like vlogging is gonna take me some time to get used to. Like I say, this is my second vlog, you guys. Vlogging is going to take some time for me to get used to. And here's why. It's not like I'm a shy person or anything like that. It's just that I don't want that. And then maybe some people will say that this is wrong too. But I don't want the feeling of me walking into Walmart like I'm about to do right now. And I got the And I'm filming myself. And then it attracts everybody's attention. And then you have some weird people, like it's two types of people, right? You have some people that will see you filming yourself and you talking to the camera. So they figure you're some sort of content creator and then they'll think, oh, this guy has a channel. Oh, he's famous or he's, you know what I mean? You have those types, right? And then you have the types that's like, yo, why is he filming us? Why is he filming? And then they don't want you to record. Then you got other people that's just like, yo, no cameras allowed, da, 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 da. They really trip off YouTubers. Because I've seen some YouTubers that be trying to go into public places and they get slack for, you know, doing what they do. You know, vlogging. So, I mean, I don't know, man. It's just kind of weird. Like, it's like you don't want that. You want to be low-key. You don't really want to put yourself out there. But you, in a way, you have to put yourself out there. You know, my girl, she's, like... And I meant to say this earlier. My girl, she's camera shy. So even if we were to do like a couple's channel, that's going to take some time because she's not really out, you know, on camera like that. And then it's just like, damn, when we go back to the house and I film the little gender reveal because I'm pretty much going to be doing everything myself. I'm not gonna have somebody uh, holding my camera for me or anything like that, which I should, which I think I should, because I'm not gonna be able to know when you know where the lighting is good at, where it's not, et cetera, et cetera. So, but I think I could do it, you guys. I think I could do it. So, what I'm pretty much gonna be doing is filming the gender reveal myself, if I have to, and my queen is not gonna be there. That's pretty much what it's gonna be. Yeah, my queen is not going to be there, you guys. So, just letting you guys know right now that she won't be there. And it's pretty much just going to be me. So, I don't want you guys to think that, all oh, Mike's lying about having a woman or he's having a baby with himself. Like, come on, bro. That, that wouldn't even make sense. Like, what's the point? You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man, your boy Mike having a baby didn't think i would have it this early but you know it is what it is and um things like this are a blessing man they really are you know some people 
I'm not gonna lie. I think we were too at the beginning stages. You know, oh, we not. I don't think we ready or da 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 da. But no, I mean. So what you gonna do? You gonna have the baby adopted? I watch movies like that, you guys, where, you know, the kid, the son or the daughter may be adopted. Then they pretty much go on this manhunt to find the real parents. And once they realize who their real parents are, the parent doesn't want to see them or get to know them at all because it's just like they feel guilty. You know what I mean? And that's pretty much how I would have felt if I would have went the adoption route or if <clears throat> or if it, or if we went the abortion route. So for me, it's just like, you know, here we are. You know what I mean? This is what we wanted to do. So this is what it is. And I'm not going to lie. When you guys have a kid or a kid on the way, it gives you a different type of push in life. What I mean by that is there's a lot of things that I'm motivated to do right now that I really didn't have the motivation to do before. So in a way, I'm actually kind of glad I'm having a kid because I'm starting to starting to do things starting to grind for things a little bit harder than I used to be, you know. But you guys, I'm about to get in the store, man, and um I'll get back with you guys when I come out. I shouldn't be long cuz I pretty much only I'm pretty much only going in here to buy one thing and that's pretty much like the gender reveal confetti. So when I go in here, come out, I'll be filming either once I get back to the house or once I get back to the car, whichever or. Um but yeah, man, Mike and Billy Gang, I'll be back with you guys in a few. You guys stay tuned, man. Yeah. I finally made it back to the crib. So now I'm going to do this gender reveal. And I'm trying to see how this is going to go because last time I did it, um, it was actually kind of confusing because the way it was supposed to twist and everything like that. So you guys, I am kind of nervous as far as this goes because um, let me see will be the best angle and the best lighting. you guys wish me luck let's see what we got let's say to twist it this way so let me see or is it this way there it is you guys I gotta clean all this up too. I gotta clean all this up. But your boy's having a girl, man. Your boy's having a girl. I'm extremely excited. Um, like I say, man, it's the most beautiful feeling ever. Like, it's a lot of things. You guys, if you guys don't have kids or don't have any on the way, it's a lot of things you guys um, are gonna have the energy and the motivation to do just for the sake that you know you have a kid coming you know your grind for you know your thirst for hustle that's gonna be harder you putting extra hours in at your regular nine to five whatever that may be um and it's just a blessing man it's just a great feeling i can't even explain it to you guys man but that's the end of this video man i hope you guys like this video it was simple straight to the point you know i don't believe in holding you guys up because i know some people's attention span is you know, but I'm about to clean this up, man. So you guys like this video, comment on this video, share this video, watch the full video. Machiavelli gang, I'm out of here, man. I love you guys. You guys have a blessed one and a safe one. I'm catch you guys on the next one. Peace.